As you can see, Willow is making herself right at home. Right, Willow? Are you excited to go outside? Let's get you hooked on a leash. The original plan for Willow until she transitioned into a working dog here on the farm was for her to stay in our barn. That's where she was gonna live and eat and then she would come out of the barn to use the bathroom, hopefully. Problem with that was we didn't want Willow all by herself in the barn having just come to a, a new home and a new property with strange smells and sounds around. We didn't want to just leave her by herself. Couldn't put her in with the lambs and where Blue is because they need to go through an introduction phase before we just put them together. Otherwise there could be conflict. Blue could see her as a threat to the lambs and attack her. And we don't know how Willow's going to react with the lambs. She might want to play with them or attack them, which is of course going to upset Blue. So there's going to be an adjustment phase, a transition phase, getting her acclimated to the livestock and familiar with Blue. So I, I couldn't put her in there. I don't want to put her in where my pregnant ewes are because they're so close to lambing. I don't want to give them any undue stress, anything that's going to cause harm to their pregnancy. And adding a strange new dog in there would definitely be a stressor for them. She's a good dog. She is a good dog. So that means Willow spent the night in our house last night. As soon as we brought her in, she saw the couch and she jumped up on it. She went for it, claimed it, and stayed there all night. Say hi to Blue. Good boy, Blue. The introductions are going very well. But we're not quite ready. Where are you going, Blue? Come back, boy. Come say hi to Willow more. That's a chicken. Be nice to the chickens, Willow. Go eat the chicken. <laughs> You think Penelope likes her? Yeah. All right. Put Willow on this T post right here. What do you think, Blue? Good idea? Woof, woof. Looks like he sat in something, buddy. Just so you know, there's a couple spots like this on Willow. Uh, she had to get shaved a while back because of uh, some bug problems she had after she was first found and she also on the front of her chest she had a hot spot and also one on her leg around on the other side where there's some shaved spots uh, where they had to treat the hot spots for her. We enjoyed having Willow stay with us in the house last night but the only problem with that is we obviously have to keep taking her out to walk her and she is really hesitant to use the bathroom so to speak when on the leash. She doesn't like that and we can't just let her go because she will take off running. So I'm going to use some of my portable electric fencing to put a little area together for her in her backyard where we can just let her out our back door. She can go out in the yard, spend some time out there, do her business, eat her food, drink some water, and come back in when she's ready. Hey little buddy, before I build that area for Willow, we need to get our sheep some alfalfa pellets. With the sun out, I had to switch to my vest. It was getting kind of warm in that jacket, and of course now the sun's back behind the clouds, but we'll just go with this.
fencing is complete. The idea is that we can let Willow out of our back patio door and then she'll have this enclosed area in which to tend to her business. There is a little bit of risk here using this fencing because it's only 42 inches tall. It's tall enough to where Blue doesn't even ever try to jump over it at his age. He just doesn't have an interest in it and probably doesn't have the ability. But Willow is much younger, has a lot more energy, and is probably a lot more capable. So there is a chance that she could jump over this. This may prove to be a bad idea, but we're gonna try actually letting Willow out. After all, she's still gonna need a place to do her evening business, whether we give her a fence or not. So we're gonna give it a try. Hi, Willow. What do you think? Don't jump the fence. Shouldn't give her any ideas, right? So far so good, I'm gonna go inside and watch her through the window and give her the illusion of privacy. The good news, Willow did not jump the fence or dig a hole and go under it. The not as good news is she did not urinate or defecate. She wandered around for about five minutes and then she came back to the door and whimpered a little to come back inside. So we let her back in and she went running right back for her spot. So we'll keep working on it and surely as she gets more comfortable here, the situation will improve. The fence situation worked well for Willow for the first few days, but then over the weekend I had to leave to go out of town to do some filming for a client's video project I'm working on. While I was gone, Ashley let Willow come out here in the backyard within the fencing, and this happened. Willow decided to start chewing up the fence here, here, and here. So in response to that, Ashley made a little lead and run for Willow. So I'm gonna take this fencing down, but Willow will still be able to come out here in the backyard and do her business in privacy because we can just hook her to this lead. It would be really bad if we left her on this full time. I don't think it's the proper way to leave a dog tied up to something all the time, but this is just really short intervals just for her to get a little bit outside time and use the bathroom in privacy. And this is just temporary until we get her integrated into our livestock management program and, hi, and make sure her and Blue are gonna get along pretty well. Hi. Thank you for being nice to Miss Priscilla. There we go, Willow. No more fence. Fence is gone. Overall, it's been a fantastic first week with Willow. She's been such a ray of sunshine in our home. Every time I see her, she just brings a smile to my face. It's been really nice having her in our house, even though that's just a temporary thing until she gets acclimated to our situation here. She's just been wonderful and we love having her here. I hope you feel the same, Willow. Over the last few days, Willow has had a few more introductions with Blue. Everything's going really well with him. Blue really seems interested in Willow. They seem like they're going to get along great. So stay tuned for our next video. I'm going to introduce Blue and Willow to each other without the fence. <laughs>